sports fans around the area know Ben Kramer. He officiates football, basketball, baseball, and softball games for local high schools and has already made a name for himself as one of the top officials in the state. But last May, he dealt with a call none of us would want, as we see in our OIO, Faith on the Field, his three-year-old daughter became sick. Reagan complained of some stomach pains on, I believe the date was May 21st. Um, I know it was a Monday because I was actually off of work that day to help um, do a little bit of farming with, with, my, with my parents, with my dad and my brother. So he took Reagan to the hospital and they gave her some medicine and sent her home, hoping that would do the trick, but the pain persisted. I can remember coming in that night at, at around 8.30 and Reagan was over there on the uh, living room floor and she was just curled up in a ball like in, in the fetal position and so obviously you know he did what anybody would do. We, we took her into uh, I think urgent care or the ER uh, one or the other and, and to make a long story short they did um, they did a CAT scan sure. and That's and finally, at about midnight, somewhere between midnight and 1 a.m., all of a sudden, um, our pediatrician pops into the room. And I'm like, you know, and, and it didn't even dawn on me that that something I just said, you know, wow, what are you know, what are what are you doing here? You know, and then I noticed that she she didn't you know, she didn't have any she didn't have a nice facial expression on her face and she said you know your you know your daughter has you know has has a tumor you can imagine how bad a news that is to to any any parent and i was there with her by myself you know when the doctor said tumor and and, and the first thing you know i asked i said you know is is it cancer and our pediatrician was, and she said, you know, there's a very, very high probability that, yes, it's, it's cancerous. And, um, but she said tumor. So, you know, I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm thinking, okay, tumor, let's just go in and let's just take it out. And, 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 and you know, and I'm thinking, you know, okay, this is terrible news, but maybe the bright side is maybe we can go in and we can just get this tumor out and, and you know, we can, you know, we, we can, there, there could be, you know, a, a, a solution to this. And then, you know, they immediately, you know, we went down to Dayton Children's. We got down there at about 4 a.m. and they ran tests for an entire week. CT scans, MIBG scans, um, all the blood work you could possibly imagine. But you sang your way through it, didn't you? And they had your birthday party, didn't they? The nurses had a birthday party for you because you turned four in the hospital. But that party at that time was one of the lone bright spots in this family's journey. For those two weeks though, you know, we went from she's got a tumor and in those two weeks, every time we saw a doctor, the news just kept getting worse and worse and worse because by the time they did all the other scans, um, you know, we found out it wasn't just a tumor in her uh, abdominal region. There was a spot by her aorta. There was a spot on her arm. There was a spot on her lung. There was another spot on her stomach. You know, she actually had a lot of spots. And then the final piece of bad news is when they told us it was in her bone marrow. And um, and then that was, that was about, I remember that day, that was about all we could take. Reagan had a bone marrow transplant at Nationwide in Columbus and radiation at James. And through it all, the community was on their knees for the Kramers. I didn't have any feelings like it was never going to be okay. I, I knew everybody in our town, every community around us was praying for us. I mean, they have, we've had Father Gene come over. He comes over almost every other Sunday and gives you a blessing. Father Schnipke from here, the Maria Stein cluster, he, I guess early on, he, he told me something that was very important. He said, you know, it's not only important you know, to pray for your daughter, but you have to pray for the doctors as well so that, you know, you know, God can give them, you know, guidance to, to, to do their jobs well. I mean, we've had stuff even from Netherlands. I mean, <laughs> I don't know anybody from I the think, Netherlands. <laughs> I, I, I went, um, I think it took until she, she was, you know, diagnosed at the end of May, and I think it took until 
I'm gonna say September or October until I went to the mailbox and there wasn't some sort of get well card in, in the mailbox. I mean, it was, the, 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 the community support was, was remarkable. And the families battled through treatment after treatment, hospital stay after hospital visit with a positive spirit. What did we call your tumors? What was it? Little Blouse. <laughs> we, had, we never ever told her that she had the C word. We just told her that she had balloons in her belly and um, she needed to go to the hospital to, to shrink these balloons and then at some point the doctors were gonna take these balloons out. And last month, the good news, Reagan got word the cancer was gone. And this picture surfaced on Twitter, the answer to many prayers all around the region.